Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the latest stories making headlines on the Buzz UG. I have an update from the following people. Uh, Horrible Betty Namboze, Juliana Kanyomozi, Jeno Eli Tumwine, Horrible Joel Senyonyi. Ah, things are not good in Joel Senyonyi's camp. And, uh, you know, I have other stories making headlines in the country. So, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, as you saw. Well, I want to say congratulations to Mama Taj, that is a Juliana Kanyomozi. Her concert sold out massively last evening at Serena Hotel. Well, as you can see in that video, uh, Serena Hotel was full to the extreme and according to the organizers, that is Swangs Avenue, all tickets were sold out. It should be remembered that the entrance fee was 150,000 Uganda shillings. My friend, that's a lot of money. Not everyone can spend that money in just a few hours. Yes, people like Melads, we are very few who can spend that money in just hours. The rest will go to Freedom City and pay 10,000 or 5k. <laughs> and by the way, sometimes when I see some people complaining about the economy on social media, I really wonder. I mean, they are complaining about the economy at the same time attending expensive concerts. Hey, Chi Uganda Chinyuma. <laughs> Chi Uganda Chinyuma Mobyoku saga anyway all went very well down at serena hotel and um, the b2c boys also their concert sold out massively at freedom city yeah so that's an update about what happened last evening now in other news well, the hospital in uh, the United States of America, where Mukonoman's Spality Member of Parliament, Honorable Betty Nambose, is receiving treatment, has written to the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, indicating that she might stay longer than expected. Now, Nambose's physician, that is a Professor Allen Keller, said that the legislator needs to undergo extensive evaluation before she can be allowed to come back to Uganda. Well, it should be remembered that before Honorable Betty Namboze was taken to the U.S., uh, she had been admitted at Rubaga Hospital for over three weeks and in an interview then she said the torture she suffered had triggered a condition known as peripheral neuropathy, uh, which is as a result of damage to the nerves located outside of the brain and the spinal cord. <music> Well, in other news, now different online news sites have published a story indicating that the former security minister, that is a general Eli Tumina's health condition, has worsened seven days after admitted at the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi. Now, according to reports, uh, General Eli Tumine is battling with a cancer condition that requires him to be taken to Seattle, but the prevailing circumstances cannot enable this to happen because he's on the list of the sanctioned Ugandan military officials. Now, this is a statement from one of the doctors working on him in Nairobi. Uh, his cancer levels are high, he's still at uh, stage 3, but once he crosses to stage 4, uh, there is nothing much we shall do for him. Uh, we are doing all possible to stabilize his condition. If only he could get out of ICU, then that's when I would be in position to say everything is okay. But for now, we are right to appeal for prayers from his family and friends. Yeah, so that's a statement from uh, one of the doctors working on him in Aga Khan Hospital, Nairobi. Actually, we still have to pray for this big man so that he gets back on his feet as soon as possible. And of course, right here on the Buzz UG, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Well, in other news... Uh, members of parliament sitting on the Kosase have revealed that they are receiving death threats related to the ongoing investigations into the irregular operations of the Uganda Airlines. Now, Honorable Joel Senyonyi confirmed the threats but reaffirmed that they won't back off from holding corrupt public officials accountable for causing financial losses to the government. Uh, Joel Senyonyi added that they have surrendered their safety to God for divine protection. Now, preliminary findings of the committee have been down the airline's chief executive officer, that is Jennifer Bamuturachi, and other senior officers for lack of integrity and prerequisite academic qualifications for this job. 
Well, in other news, a government spokesperson Ofono Pondo has apologized to Ugandans for assaulting Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago a few weeks back on NBS Frontline. Ofono Pondo apologized to the viewers and regretted the unfortunate incident and promised that it will never happen again. Meanwhile, Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago has demanded 500 million and uh, an apology from Ofono Pondo. However, for now, we haven't confirmed if Ofono Pondo has already apologized to him. But a big section of Ugandans said that's a lot of money, Sebo. That's a lot of money. Anyway, that's it from Ofono Pondo's camp. He's finally back on the show every Thursday, and uh, we hope that that unfortunate incident is not going to happen again. That's the latest update I got for you right here on the Buzz UG for now. And uh, subscribe in case you haven't. And also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.